All right, here we have the uh, new uh, solar um, panel controller. And the problem we've been having with the uh, original one that I bought um, with the panel is that it only charges one battery at the time, just one. Uh, this one here, it's a dual battery solar controller. And it gives me the option of connecting one battery on one side and another battery on the other side here under the same solar panel that I have which is a hundred watt panel and so this one here is going to give me charging power for both batteries instead of just one and the problem that I have is that one battery when I leave it here for a long period of time uh, it it will be lower than usual so to avoid that hopefully this will take care of that problem and what it brings inside is the instructions and the solar controller and uh, it feels like a very good well-made unit it doesn't feel flimsy or or cheap looking um, but uh, it, it gives me the opportunity to have both batteries to be charged under the same solar panel so let's see how it goes stay tuned all right so here this is the cable we're going to use for the um, second battery this is going to go from the controller to that second battery and then we're going to use these clips um, and, and the crimpers and of course you have to use this in all wire connections on the boat is the heat shrink so those are the things we're going to use we have a little hot air gun and the crimpers all these items uh, we got from Amazon you can get them at Amazon including the uh, controller and um, that's what we're going to use to put it together so stay tuned for the uh, installation okay here i'm showing you what the battery status is now and um, it's telling me that 76 percent and this is after two weeks of having 100 percent uh two weeks week and a few days 76 percent and it used to be 100 when we left here the first time uh, it's uh, it's not charging because of course there's nothing's coming into it uh, the only way it would charge now is by turning on the engine but uh, we're going to do the solar panel installation onto this one as well the battery status is okay but it only has 76 percent that's in about two weeks and a couple of days and on this one here this is the solar charger battery number one and you can see that the um, solar charger is charging the battery 13.7 volts and it says they're charging so this battery is topped off. You can see the little squiggly thing here on the top. It means that the battery is completely full at 100%. And that's what we want for that uh, second battery as well. So here we go. Here's our solar panel. And uh, this is a 100 watt solar panel. We bought this from Amazon. Uh, I think we paid like $140 for the whole set. It came with the wires with the panel and the charger controller and um, the installation isn't that complicated you just have to find a way to be able to hang it uh, we were lucky that we have the, the arch that uh, gives us the opportunity to put this frame up there and um, put the frame here so we could install the solar panel into that frame there so we actually built the frame around the solar panel and what we did is we used uh, some rivets there and on the ends and put the whole frame together and then dropped the panel in the middle there and screwed it on the edges like you see there and then the other thing is just bolting it on top of the radar arch up here um, I think the worst part that we had was running the wire from there into the solar arch 
and then we ran it down this side here and then down into the engine compartment as you'll see in a second there when I open up the batteries on that side there so it has to go all the way around and all the way to that end over there Right here, this shorter side here, it's gonna go into the um, terminals on the controller. And then make sure that the other end of the wire has these stripped out longer, so that way you could reach the uh, negative and positive battery terminal. So if you make them too short, they won't reach. So just like make them uh, like about six, seven inches is what I have here. Um, and then they'll reach each terminal now. All right, we're ready to hook it all up now. And we are now connecting battery number two to the controller. All right, we have the wires connected to the new charge controller. And uh, you can see battery number one is blinking and uh, number two is just fixed. Um, we had to do some programming into it. It's really simple to do and according to the instructions here You have to um, decide How much charge you want for battery one and battery number two? I chose number six on the um, Settings there so that gives me 60% charge for battery number one and 40% charge uh, for battery number two. So what happens is that when battery number one is fully charged, 
full charge goes to battery number two. So the priority is 60% goes to battery number one. And I'm gonna try that setting for a while and see if that works out. I think that'll be just fine. But I notice here, now battery number two, uh, it's now at up to 84%. And it used to be 76, I believe, uh, earlier. I don't remember, but I think it was said 76. And it's charging 12.69, 12.70. Once in a while, it fluctuates back and forth. And battery is okay. So now this has gone up. So that means that 40% of the charge is going to this battery now. And that's why it's gone up to 84%. So it looks like everything is working fine and uh, when you first get the uh, charger and, and connect it, you first connect it to your batteries, then you connect the uh, solar power to it. Um, one of the things you have to do is, is decide which one of the three batteries you have, whether it's sealed, gel, or flooded battery. We have flooded, so we, we chose number three on the setting and then the, the second setting would be the uh, how much charge you want for battery one and battery number two and in this case we use number six which is 60% on one 40% on the second one and then it'll be 100% on number two when number one is fully charged I mean it's really simple it's working out fine we're getting the charge we want it there and it's working perfectly and then if we go to the other battery now let's check that one And it'll come up in a second there. Okay, here we go. And it's uh, number one is this one here. And if you notice, 60%, so it's higher charging, and you can see the little thing spinning. And uh, the charging is uh, on right now for battery number one. So when number one is fully charged, it'll go to number two. Only 40% of the charge is going for number two right now. On the setting that I chose and that's it it's all complete all right so this is how you program the uh, controller there's a little button right here and you press that button and a little light will turn on there and um, it says zero because it's on uh, charging frequency I have it on zero and then if you press it again it'll go to battery type I have it on number three which is flooded and then you press it again it goes to charging priority and that's the number six which is 60% 40% on the second battery and that's all you do so here this is how you do it you just press it and you hold it down for about five seconds and then it'll start blinking when it's blinking you press it once twice until you get it to the right setting you want and that's all it is uh, this one here is blinking, so it's charging battery number one at 60%, and then battery number two at 40%. When this one stops blinking, this one here will go 100% until it's fully charged as well. Once they're both fully charged, it'll just stay on in green like battery number two is doing there. And that's totally it. There's nothing else, nothing complicated. We're done completely. I'm really happy with the installation. It came out pretty good. And um, the other thing I put, I put some uh, wire um, things here that uh, you connect so that way the wire doesn't just hang in there. You don't want to be caught up in the engine here somewhere. So you just put those up like that and keep them up there. And that's totally it. Hope you enjoy this video and it helps you out keeping those batteries maintained and uh, happy boating. See you next time. All right, now this is really, really, really awesome. It's been roughly like 40 to 45 minutes since I installed the solar charger on that second battery and in that time it went up to 100% I'm talking about 30 to 45 minutes approximately and uh, battery is uh, okay let me just go back again right there okay 100% and it's um, giving it a charge at 13 uh, volts now that 
is really, really awesome to be able to be confident in knowing that your batteries are going to be topped off uh, before you go boating. And, and it's all done by solar. And I highly recommend this um, uh, solar panel and, and uh, controller. Uh, the controller because of the dual battery. You could connect two batteries at the same time and it'll do everything for you. I highly recommend it. You should go to Amazon and grab yours today.